Howdy, YouTube. <clears throat> Darlington Farm here. Yay. Well, anyway, I look a little bit disheveled this morning. Yesterday was a fun-filled, mechanic-y day of replacing the oil cooler, the standpipes. Uh, the STC fitting in my truck had already been replaced with the one-piece type. Uh, a new radiator uh, and a sinister diesel coolant filter. So... Anyway, if you have a 6L, I would highly recommend getting the Torque app and a little Bluetooth adapter and looking at your oil temperatures. On mine, my oil temperatures had about a 40 degree difference between uh, the oil and the coolant temperature, and this is why. The whole, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, the whole oil cooler is just plugged with this sludge. Now what? The oil cooler does is it sits in the valley of the engine, circulates coolant through uh, your oil, which this big aluminum block sits in a bath of oil, and it flushes coolant through there, or at least that's the theory. Uh, except for, yeah, it gets clogged with this stuff. It's just sludge. Um, I think what happened on the early six liters, they ran this uh, coolant in it that had like silicates in it that would come out of solution and just park themselves in there. Um, so yeah, um, if you've got more than I think it's 18 degree difference, your oil cooler is bad. I had about a 40 degree difference. So yeah, I had to change that guy out. And right now my diff the delta or the difference in the two temperatures is running about two degrees. So I like that. Anyway, uh, well, you've got these apart uh, or well, I had it apart. I just did the standpipes, um, which these go from the high pressure oil pump, which sits in the valley of the engine, uh, out to the oil rails on either head. And um, yeah, these things tend to fail. Uh, I didn't take any video, but the new ones have like a white Teflon backer on the O-rings here. And um, these look like they're in good shape, but I just did not want to, or well, I had it apart, just wanted to go ahead and change them. And then the high pressure oil pump has this, the original ones, have uh, what's called an STC fitting, which is a snap to connect fitting, which tend to blow apart. Um, this is the updated uh, one piece deal, and my truck already had that in it, but I just replaced the seals on the high pressure oil pump while I was at it. And um, yeah, also uh, there is an updated larger diameter uh, turbo oil return line, uh, which is supposed to keep the turbos from coking up. And um, yeah, so. It's bigger diameter than that. Again, I didn't really take any video. If you're interested, there are much better videos out there than anything I would have done. Um, but uh, yeah, so the new truck is cruising right, right along, running really well. Um, you know, I know a lot of people, you know, diss on the six liters and talk about how crappy they are. But, you know, it seems like every head gasket failure on those I've heard of, uh, you know, in person while I've been talking to people, if I look at, you know, you look at the truck, it's got big tires, a lift, and a tuner. So it seems like, you know, as long as you don't drive the things like a jackass and actually do the maintenance where, you know, like this is a big deal here. Mine had the EGR delete kit on it, but I think what happens if you, um, as far as, you know, head gaskets failing is this plugs up and then the coolant from here goes to the EGR cooler. And then, you know, the EGR cooler would crack because it got too hot. And then the coolant that did make it through there would just go into the engine and cause the head gaskets to fail. So I think the 6 liter kind of got a bad rap there just because of mainly just the bad coolant. Um, I was told by my local Ford dealer, which they're awesome with diesels, uh, this is the coolant they recommended to run. They told me this is the coolant they run uh, whenever they... Um, whenever they rebuild an engine like that or, you know, put coolant in a truck like that, they told me not to dick with the Ford stuff and just go for that, which I thought was kind of funny. So, uh, Kenny Vice Ford, you guys rock. I really appreciate all the help. Um, yeah, anyway, I got to get this mess cleaned up. Um, I picked up some pipe stands over here, uh, from a industrial surplus place. I'm going to make a, oh, stand for these guys for my chop saw. I got these things for 15 bucks piece. I was pretty thrilled. This one just needs a roller here. And uh, someplace I got a tri-stand vise. Oh yeah, over here. <clears throat> I guess this is kind of a rambling update, but yeah, I picked this thing up. Uh, this is a rigid 
pipe vise. Um, I picked that thing up for a hundred bucks, which they're about 500. So I was really thrilled, which leads me to, uh, I have a pipe job this week. That ought to be interesting. I'll try and get some video of that one. Um, yeah, anyway, I got to get to work here and get this place cleaned up and uh, put back in some semblance of order. So anyway, I'm Darlington Farm. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.